Let's paraphrase the Lekal of Anishpuri by W. P. Yeats. Yeats says, I will arise and go now and go to Anishpuri. The word I refers to the poet W. B. Yeats. Arise means to stand. The poet states here that he will go now. Now, why does he use the word now? He cannot wait any longer. He expresses that without any delay, without any procrastination, he is going, he will go to Inish Free. And a small cabin built there. He would make a small room there of clay and waters made. Clay is a type of mud and waters are twisted sticks for making fences or walls. Twisted sticks of course of wood. Nine bean rows will I have there. If he lives there, he will need food too for his survival. So he states that he will grow beans too. A hive for the honeybee. A hive is a nest made by bees. From where he could get honey there and live alone in the bee loud glade. He tells that he will live all alone there with nature as his continuous and true companion. Glade is an open space and bee loud stands for the buzzing sound produced by bees. In stanza 2, the poet talks more about peace, calmness, serenity, tranquility, solace. More we can say he talks about spiritual journey that he wants to undertake. And I shall have some peace there. You know, peace is something which we can experience. We cannot see that. The calmness that can just be experienced and the poet states that he will be lucky enough, he will be fortunate enough to experience peace at that place. For he states the reason peace comes dropping slow. It drops down slowly, not at a fast pace. If we are at a place, we get to experience that we get to experience the vibes which are present at a particular place slowly, gradually. This is what he talks about here. Dropping from the whales of the morning. Now, whale is what? It is a piece of cloth which is used to cover face. Dropping from the whales of the morning. Now, what drops down? Peace. Serenity drops down. He tells us here what kind of peace will be available at that place. Dropping from the whales of the morning, what do you mean by a cover of the morning? That hazy atmosphere in morning, right? Hazy, cloudy, he is talking about that. To where the cricket sings. Now cricket is a grasshopper-like insect but with shorter legs. And the male cricket produces a musical chirping sound. So that sound, that musical chirping sound will provide solace, will provide comfort to the poet's heart. There, now the word there refers to Anishpuri. Midnight's all a glimmer, where midnight is quite shining, refulgent. It is not dark over there. And noon a purple glow. And at noon it the place appears magical. There is a purple glow spread all over the sky. And evenings full of the linnet's wings. Now linnet is a small brown and grey bird with a short beak. And evenings full of the linnet's wings and he would be able to see the flight of birds. He mentions linnet bird going back to their nests in the evening. All that will provide solace, serenity to the poet's mind and heart.